Hey there, in today's video, we are going to see what new features are going to be introduced in ES 2023. So this is slated to be released in somewhere between April to June of 2023. And the version is also known as ES 14 because this is the 14th version of the ECMAScript specification which guides what features get introduced to the JavaScript language. We will see how to use these new features as well in Chrome because that is where all of these features are available as of now. If you are using some older version of Chrome, these features might not be available. So having said that, let's have a look at the very first thing that is getting introduced and that is the new array method. So we will get to see these three methods, two reverse, two sorted, two splice, because as of now, these three methods have their equivalents where they mutate the underlying array. In some cases, we do not want to mutate the original array. So for those cases, now we can use these things. So let's see how to use this thing. So here is the Chrome browser. And if I head over to about Google Chrome, I'm using Mac. So that is why my option is located right here. But in case you are using Windows or Linux, this option may vary. So if I go to about Chrome, I'm using version 112. So in this version, all of these features are available because I have tested it. So I will open up the debugger console. I will go to this console and I will first of all define an array one, two, three. So I have defined this array. If I do array dot reverse in this case the underlying array will mutate because now it contains the element in the reverse order we have defined in but let's suppose we do not want to do that let's define array 2 which is similar to this but we do not want to mutate this array we want to get the reverse thing but we do not want to mutate the underlying thing for that we can use the new method array 2.2 reverse so using this i will get the reversed output but my underlying array would not be mutated additionally there is a sorting method called two sorted so if i do this a and b and a minus b so this will give me a new array but it will not change the underlying array again if we switch this and do b minus a so the array will be sorted in the descending order but still the underlying array will not be change there is one more method array dot two splice now we can get a new array where we have created that particular array from removing some elements from the underlying array but the underlying array will not get mutated so the elements will not actually be removed from the underlying array if we try to splice this array and try to extract like true elements out of it this will be the result but again the underlying array is not touched so this is how you can use these new methods in order to get your data still keeping the underlying array intact so let's move on to the other feature that is finding elements from last so we have this method array dot find and find index and using these methods you can find the element from the starting position but if you want to do it from the last position you cannot do it as of now but after es 14 this changes and there are two new methods called find last and find last index so find last will actually find the last element that matches your condition so if i do i want to find all the elements that are greater than one this will find me the last element because in case of array the last element is one now if i want to find the index of that particular element i can do this and this will find me the index the index is one because number two is located at the first position in this particular array so this is zero this is one hence the answer is one the next thing that is getting introduced is using symbols as weak map keys now weak maps are useful when you want to create weak references i can record a video about weak references let me know in case you are interested in learning what weak maps are what weak sets are so in this update you can now use symbol as weak map keys because weak map has a requirement that the keys should be unique so as of now weak map allows you to use object as keys because object are unique no two objects can have similar identity that is why they can be used as keys similarly symbols also have that sort of a unique property that every single symbol is unique and no matter what you do you cannot have two symbols that are equal to each other so that is why now you can use symbol as weak map keys we can create a map new weak map and now i can create a new key called key a 
and it is going to be a symbol i will name it version okay and then i can create a value i will do map dot set then key a and then the value so the value is going to be es2023 in this case so i'm just setting a key value pair in this particular map and then i can do this map dot get and then key a and i will get the value now remember i said that no two symbols can have similar identities so even if i do something like key b and then symbol and the same string which i have provided in this case these two things will be different so key b is not equals to key a and now if i do key map dot get and key b and think that i will get the same value because i created the symbols using the same string they can be used interchangeably it is not these two keys are totally different and i will get undefined because key b is just not defined in this particular weep map so that is how you can use a weep map and a symbol inside a weep map as the key the last feature that is getting introduced is the hash bang grammar you might have seen utilities where you have this hash bang and then user bin and env node written on top of that particular script this is mostly encountered in the node land because there you want to execute the scripts using the node runtime so that is where people are mostly putting these strings right at the start of the files but in this update it should become the responsibility of the js engine to strip down these hash bank comments so as of now what happens is i mean prior to es14 what happens is that when you invoke any script which has this particular thing written at the top of the file the operating system actually strips out this particular string and then passes the remaining content of that script over to the javascript engine now in this update the javascript engine will accept this sort of strings and they will strip it on its own as of now if you type in into a javascript engine where this change hasn't been introduced it will throw an error it will not detect this thing but luckily in chrome's version which i'm using as of now this thing has been introduced that is why it is not throwing an error and if i do the same thing in safari where this thing is not implemented it will throw an error i can show you i can open the debugger console in safari and if i do this this thing will throw an error that it's an invalid character because here that particular change hasn't been introduced so these were the four important changes that got introduced in es14 you may want to update your browsers in case you want to use these features now in case you want to use these things in node you have to check whether these things are available in node or you can use a library called core.js where these features will be defined now this is just a polyfilling library which you can use and this is quite a popular one at that in case you want to use these cutting edge features as of now where these features are not available in your runtime you can use this particular library i will be recording a follow up video about core.js because i I just discovered it and i read through this entire thing from the core developer who has developed this library and it was heart wrenching i will probably record a video about open source and funding in open source it will make you think where we are heading and what is the future of open source development so make sure you subscribe to code lists youtube channel in case you want to keep tabs on all these things that i'm going to release in the future and if you want to see more such videos in future make sure you give this video a thumbs up having said that take care and i see you guys over in the next video